How's it going everybody? Welcome to Sick Eric Tech and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the OnePlus 10 Pro and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Pro against Pro. We're going to be talking about the specs, letting you guys determine which one you might want to pick up and both of them pretty much at the same prices and the specs as far as both of them go are pretty similar. So let's get started before we do go ahead and subscribe and click that bell icon that we get notified on future videos just like the one you're about to see today and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this comparison talking about the uh, build on both of these uh the one one plus 10 pro is about 6.42 inches tall 6.91 inches wide and 0.34 inches in thickness it weighs at about 7.9 ounces going on over to the pixel 7 pro it is about 6.41 tall, 3.02 wide, and 0.35 thick, and it weighs about 7.48 ounces. Uh, the OnePlus 10 Pro is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, and the back is Corning Gorilla Glass 5 with an aluminum frame, IP68 dust and water resistance, T-Mobile version only, and uh, as far as the Google Pixel 7 Pro, Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and the back with an aluminum frame, IP68, water and dust resistance as well. Going on over to the displays, the Google Pixel 7 Pro is a 6.7 inch LTPO AMOLED at 120 hertz, supports HDR10+, and gets all the way up to 1500 nits peak brightness. And uh, you got a 1440 by 3120 um, and 512 pixels per inch. And like I said earlier, covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus with an always on display. Going on over to the OnePlus 10 Pro, you get an LTPO2 fluid AMOLED display with the 1 billion colors, 120 hertz HDR10 plus, and all the way up to 1300 nits peak brightness with a resolution of 1440 by 3216 and 525 pixels per inch. Again, always on display is included as well and covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, just like I mentioned earlier. Both fantastic displays. You can't go wrong with either one. Both of them get really bright outdoors. Both of them are slightly curved on the edges as well. The only difference is you get a center hole punch cutout on the pixel and the hole punch cut out on the left hand side of the OnePlus 10 Pro. Going on over to the platform, both of these devices are running Android 13. The OnePlus 10 Pro uh, might be on Android 12, but I got a beta running on this one, so it is Android 13. It might be the official uh, Android 13. As far as chipsets go, the Google Pixel 7 Pro has the Google Tensor Generation 2 chipset. And the OnePlus 10 Pro has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. You get um, the Mali G710 MC10 GPU on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And you get the Adreno 730 GPU on the OnePlus 10 Pro. The OnePlus 10 Pro does come with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And this particular model is 128. It does go all the way up to a 12 gigabyte uh, 512 gigabyte storage model with UFS 3.1 while over here on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. It does go all the way up to a 12 gigabyte 512 gigabyte version as well. This particular version is the 256 uh, 12 gigabyte version that I have right here. As far as cameras go, on the Google Pixel 7 Pro you get a 50 megapixel main sensor with an aperture of f1.9. And it does also have multi-directional PDAF, laser autofocus, and optical image stabilization. You get a 48 megapixel telephoto camera with 3.5 f uh, 3.5 aperture, and it does support multi-directional PDAF, optical image stabilization, and five times optical zoom, all the way up to 30 times space zoom. You also get a 12 megapixel aperture of f 2.2 ultra wide, and that it supports a 126 degree field of view. You can record up to 4K 30, 60 frames per second on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Front facing camera is a 10.8 megapixel aperture of f2.2. 
and you can record up to 4k 30 60 on that as well auto hdr etc going on over to the oneplus 10 pro you get a 48 megapixel main sensor aperture of f1.8 multi-directional pdaf laser autofocus ois as well you get an 8 megapixel telephoto lens aperture of f2.4 supports 3.3 times optical zoom and yes you can go all the way up to 30 times and it is all just going to be digital zoom you get a 50 megapixel ultra wide with an aperture of f2.2 with 150 degree field of view so that's fantastic you get Hasselblad color collaboration calibration on there as well and the oneplus 10 pro does support 8k 24 frames per second all the way up to 8k recording on the oneplus 10 pro front facing camera is a 32 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.2 and it does support auto hdr but you could only record at 1080p 30 frames per second so both of these cameras are fantastic the google pixel 7 pro might take better photos during the day and at night and a little bit better video but the oneplus 10 pro is no slouch here the colors are going to be very poppy and very saturated due to Hasselblad's color science and both of them do really well the oneplus 10 pro's camera front facing camera recording at night seems to look a little bit better than the google pixel 7 pro a lot less noise on that front facing camera despite only being 1080p going on over to the stereo speakers both of these do have stereo speakers the oneplus 10 pro does support dolby atmos with a lot of different functionality on there as far as being able to control your music and uh, have a lot of different features on there while the google pixel 7 pro has no dolby atmos whatsoever uh, there is no uh, equalizer settings on the google pixel 7 pro but both of these speakers sound really good you get no headphone jacks on here whatsoever but uh both of these sound really good the google pixel 7 pro gets loud enough to hear outside and also the oneplus 10 pro has very good audio as well when it comes down to those stereo speakers uh, you get bluetooth 5.2 on the google pixel 7 pro and also on the oneplus 10 pro you get wi-fi 6 on the oneplus and wi-fi 6e on the google pixel 7 pro and like I said earlier, none of these phones have headphone jacks. You get NFC and everything else that goes along with all of that good stuff. And as far as USB type, you get USB type C 3.2 on the Google Pixel 7 Pro and UFS C, uh, UFSB type C 3.1 on the OnePlus 10 Pro. The Google Pixel 7 Pro has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 30 watt fast charging. And uh, you can record, uh, recharge 50% in about 30 minutes. You get fast wireless charging at 23 watts if you're using the official Pixel Stand from Google. And then you also get reverse wireless charging on here as well. So that's fantastic. You could charge devices on the back. You could charge your watch and whatnot on the back of the device. Going on over to the OnePlus 10 Pro, you get fast charging at 65 watts one to 58 percent in 15 minutes on the oneplus 10 pro you get a 5000 milliamp hour battery as well you get fast wireless charging at 50 watts which is fantastic again uh with the uh you got to use a specific charger you get reverse wireless charging on here as well so you can charge things on the back of the oneplus 10 pro as well as far as colors go it comes in volcanic black and emerald frost that is the oneplus 10 pro and on the google pixel 7 pro you get obsidian snow and hazel so as far as both of these devices go they're both fantastic they're both gonna have a pretty good battery life going throughout the day as far as design wise they're both fantastic google you get your stock google android on here the oneplus is going to be a little bit more towards the oppo side as far as their uh, skin goes and uh, both function pretty well. They both have really good performance, fast and snappy devices, displays, fantastic cameras, really great build quality. They both look fantastic and they both look beautiful. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of my full comparison between the OnePlus 10 Pro and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and I will see you next time. Peace.